Francisco, metropolis of the West, seaport of the Pacific, glories in its calm, landlocked bay. As far back as 1856, men dreamed of linking the city of San Francisco with the east shore of the bay. The steady growth of San Francisco and the Oakland area emphasized the need of communication. As the years passed, many proposals were made, but it remained for modern science and engineering to overcome almost insurmountable obstacles and make the dream come true. Today, there are towers over San Francisco Bay, a realization of the century-old dream. A six-lane double-deck bridge, eight miles long, connecting San Francisco with the Oakland Berkeley area, spanning the largest major navigable body of water ever bridged. The West Bay Crossing is a twin suspension bridge with an anchorage in San Francisco, a central anchorage, and another anchorage on Yerba Buena Island. This twin suspension span is the largest of its kind in the world and crosses nearly two miles of deep water. A tunnel through the island connects it to a cantilever span on the east side, which in turn is connected to the east shore of the bay by a number of through truss and deck truss type spans. Building the cantilever and suspension sections was a challenge to American ingenuity. A novel method of sinking the foundations was employed. Steel cutting edges towed the location between working docks were built up with hollow steel cylinders. Wooden walls, the work walls, encased the cylinders. New units were added at the top as caisson sinking progressed. This cross-section diagram shows the caisson in position between two working docks. Air pressure was maintained in the cylinders to control the sinking as concrete was poured into the spaces between them. On reaching bedrock, the mud was scooped from the cylinders and replaced by a 30-foot concrete seal. were built the deepest foundations ever undertaken, some as deep as 242 feet. On these unique foundations, concrete bases were built to receive the superstructure. The huge steel towers rose like magic. After years of planning, the visions and blueprints of the engineers took physical shape under the skilled hands of the men of action. long experienced in this hazardous business, went about their work, sometimes in precarious positions, expertly guiding the steel into place. Some sections weighed as much as 79 tons. All the steel sections were fabricated at American Bridge Company's plants at Gary, Indiana, and Ambridge, Pennsylvania. Looking toward San Francisco from the center anchorage in the West Bay, two of the 500-foot towers for the suspension bridge can be seen. Looking in the opposite direction past the other pair of towers, we see Yerba Buena Island, where the great east and west bay sections of the bridge are connected by a tunnel. This tunnel, 63 feet wide and nearly as high, has the largest cross-section of any tunnel in the world. Let's cross to the other end of the tunnel for a glimpse at the east bay section. Two mighty piers will support the massive steel towers 
for the 1,400-foot cantilever span and its two 520-foot anchor arms. High above the waters of the bay, the fabricated steel sections swing into place with infinite care and precision. Building the third longest cantilever span in the world, the longest in the United States, was the bridge men's toughest job. pound cantilever structure fitted perfectly into position, surprising to the laymen what expected by the engineers. The remainder of the East Bay crossing to Oakland consisted of through truss and deck type spans. Back on Yerba Buena Island, work is being completed on the cable anchorage for the second of 